The Lakin Temple was the site one particular afternoon for one of the most bizarre rituals that I've ever seen in my life. For Singapore's Indian Hindu community, this was one of the most auspicious days of the year. Thanksgiving Day, a day known as Tai Pusang. Some men had been fasting for three weeks, and by breathing in just a little bit of incense, they would fall into a deep trance. The Hindus believe in a pantheon of gods. They believe there are as many gods as there are individual minds to conceive of God. And a Hindu also believes that everything evens out over time karmically. So on Thanksgiving Day, if one initiates suffering and pain, one will be entitled to especially good things in the year to come. One young man in each family will put on his shoulders a platform called a kavadi. It weighs about 60 pounds and is adorned with peacock feathers and special offerings. And he'll walk barefoot and bare-chested through the 95 degree heat and 90% humidity of Singapore to another Indian temple five miles across town. For a little while, I thought that I perhaps could do this, until the man's fathers and brothers began to bring out long, razor-sharp skewers, like shish kebab skewers, only much sharper on the end. And one by one, these were put down through the platform. And each man, there were 2,000 of them, was pierced on all sides of his body. applied to the wound is known only as holy ash and I never could get a chemical breakdown on it but it completely prevented any of the over 2,000 men from bleeding at any time during the ritual now this is roughly the final result up to 50 spears down the front and 50 spears down the spine. And while it might be upsetting to watch, remember that these are not high priests or mystics, but ordinary citizens performing a ritual which is, to them, as normal as carving a jack-o'-lantern would be for us on Halloween. Perhaps the hardest part of the ritual to watch comes next, as each man will allow himself to be pierced through the face as well as the rest of the body. condition, each man will walk five miles across Singapore on ground that's too hot to stand still on. And even the slightest bit of undue movement can be excruciating. So each man brings with him his family and friends to clear a path as he goes down the boulevard. I used to think getting together with my relatives on Thanksgiving was stressful. Here is a ritual that's been banned in India for its brutality, 
and it mystified me how it was that it could still be practiced on the streets of Singapore. And then it occurred to me that Lee Kuan Yew has Christians, Hindus, Buddhists, and Muslims. And if he doesn't grant them complete religious freedom, he'll have Beirut on his hands, and he'll lose his steady image. By the way, according to the Straits Times, every person who participated in this parade successfully completed the walk. <laughs>